Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have an unboxing for you. It is a large box. We've got a new setup here in the living room because um, this box, as you can tell, I'm get a pack of cards on it. You can see it's a pretty large box. It comes to us from Ike's Art Studio, which you've probably seen his work before on the channel. Um, me and Ike, we go way back to 2019 at the National. I, we, I believe I met him at the National, and I was breaking for eBay in their booth at the National, and I met Ike there, and he sat there and actually helped out with the break, helped uh, kind of take all the loose wrappers away, he was my trash man, and just uh, helped me out. Really awesome guy, and we featured his booth at the National that year, and also at the National, I think it was, was it last year or the year before, but he's uh, been at the National a couple of years. He's not going to be there this year, but he does paintings and artwork. And we are featuring today, from Ike, the number one card on my wish list right now for the National. So I own a couple of his paintings. I'll show those to you in the middle of this video. But if you like what you see here, you want to check out Ike's stuff. He's got a website. He's got a Facebook. He's got an Instagram. He's got a Twitter, Ike's Art Studio on Instagram, and I'll put all those social media links in the description so you can contact him and, uh, you know, pick up something if you like his work. He's got prints, he's got paintings, he even paints on jerseys, and all right, so are you ready? Let's go ahead and open this up. This is the big reveal. This is the card that I'm after at the National, and um, I will do my best to try to not cut into the painting. That would be pretty terrible. This is uh, always well packaged when you buy a painting from Ike. It's going to come to you safe and sound. And this will have a nice display spot front and center. And I really hope I can get this card at the National. I've got his paintings on my fireplace mantle. And this one's likely going to go right in the middle, I think. And it would look really nice to put this card if we can find it. So for those of you that have watched all the live streams, you probably heard me mention this is the card that I was after at the National. So you may already know what it is, but if you're, you know, kind of new around here, this may be a surprise to you. And then I'll talk about what exact card I'm looking for in terms of, it's got to be a graded card because this is going to be an expensive card. But it is, uh, it's one of those cards that I feel like I just have to have. Got to make sure they cut away from the painting. Do not want to destroy this painting. I um, probably spent, who knows how much time on this. Hours and hours and hours, probably days. All right, so it's all wrapped up and here it is. Are you ready for the big reveal, folks? Take a look. This is the card that I want. At the National, man, does that look great. It is a Roberto Clemente rookie card painting right there, 1955 tops. Take a look. So you can actually ask Ike to paint whatever your card is that you love. So, for example, if if your favorite card is, say, uh, I don't know, like a maybe you love the Nolan Ryan rookie card, he would paint it for you. Uh, you you know, um, just this is an amazing card right here. 1955 Tops Roberto Clemente on canvas. I'm hoping to find this one at the National. Now, to give you a uh, kind of like a, I guess, size perspective here. We'll put a pack on there so you can see just how big it is. So it would look great in your game room, great on your mantle. If you're a big baseball card collector, it also could be a nice gift out there if we have some, you know, some significant others watching right now, sitting next to somebody who loves the channel, and you, you might want to buy them a painting for Christmas or their birthday or whatever. Check out Ike's. He's got some great stuff there. So we're going to talk in this video not just about this painting. we got the painting showcased for you right here. You can see that Ike has initialed it down the corner. But we're also going to talk about the uh, the cards that I'm after at the National, which is just less than a week away. On the back, it says Ike's Iconic Card Series, 1955 Tops, Roberto Clemente, rookie card, one of one, Ike's Art Studio. He signed it, he dated it, and it's 14 inches by 20 inches. 
Now it says one of one because once Ike does a card, a painting of a card, he's never going to replicate that one. So I've got the only Clemente rookie card that'll ever be made. He's not going to go ahead and you know make another one that someone's going to have. I've got literally the only one of them. And uh, that's a great card right there. And uh, as you know with paintings, you know, Ike is, he's, uh, he's a great artist. I think he's going places. So you can maybe even look at this as an investment. Years down the road, what would an Ike painting be worth? I, I'm, I would love to see Ike be picked up by Fanatics, maybe as a featured artist. I guess Gallery isn't around anymore, right? Uh, they're getting rid of Gallery, but I could definitely see them featuring his work um, in cards. Awesome stuff right there. So now let's show you a couple other Ike paintings that I have in my collection here. And uh, if you'd like to check him out, go to his Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, get in touch with him. Let him know what you want and uh, say, hey, could you paint me this card or this picture? He does personal ones. You could have a picture of your family or your dog or your cat. He'll uh, take commissions. Um, so let's go ahead and show you some other Ike paintings and then talk about the top cards I'm targeting at the National this year. All right, here's some other Ike's art studio on display here at my house up on the fireplace mantle right next to the YouTube play button, which got that a year or two ago. And we have the Barry Bonds rookie card, 1987 tops. Again, these are all done by Ike. I love that card. Probably have about 100 of my collection. Then Ike sent this one to me as well. This is the Mickey Mantle pose, the iconic pose that was used on his 52 tops card. Really cool stuff right there, and you'll see that he even kind of personalized it there. I didn't even realize this till after the fact, where he has Jab's family on the outfield wall. And then also we have the card that got me into collecting, the 1989 Tops Andy Van Slyke. Pulled that card from a pack when I was eight years old, and I was addicted to cards ever since. So there's three. We'll get the Clemente in play as well. I'm thinking maybe putting the Clemente in the middle, maybe taking the mantle and hanging it on the wall now. So, I mean, the stuff looks great in your house. I love owning these paintings. And um, if you want to grab one once again, we'll put the links in the description. Again, you can just also Google Ike's Art Studio and find them that way. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Now let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about the top cards that I am targeting this year at the National. All right, so here's the cards I'm targeting. I picked three. The Roberto Clemente, this is a PSA 4. I think it's the best value. Recently sold only $2,100, which is basically the similar price of a PSA 3. A PSA 1 is about $1,200, so I'll be looking for PSA 1, 2, 3, or 4 for this Clemente. Hopefully, I can find it. If I could get this in a PSA 4 for two grand, I would jump at that. As soon as I see it, I'm buying it. I don't think I'll be able to find it for that low. You see the highest price was $5,000 for a PSA 4. So we'll see what happens there. Number two on the list is a Clayton Kershaw rookie card. I don't think that I've ever owned this card. The PSA 10 of the 2018 Tops update Kershaw. And in a PSA 10, believe it or not, now it is about a $700 card. So if I can pick this one up, I'm looking for $600 to $700 on this one. And I would buy that one in a heartbeat. That's one that I definitely want to get in my PC. Moving on to number three. It's the Mike Trout rookie card. This is on my list every single year. A couple years ago, this card was over $3,000. It has since come down a lot. Currently, it is about a $1,400 card. He's one of the all-time greats, of course. So I don't know if this is going to get any lower, even with him on the injured list. But I'll be looking to pick this one up if I can find the right price between $1,200 to $1,300. And for honorable mention, I really want the Ronald Acuna Jr. 2018 Tops Update Gold in a PSA 10. If I would have bought this card a few months ago, I could have found it for five dollars or $600. Now... It is about a thousand dollar card so i don't know there's only 2018 of these made there's, they're not readily available but if i see one for about oh i guess a grand i would probably pick it up and then last but not least another honorable mention is the 
Juan Soto Gold 2018. I once bid $4,000 for this card twice, and I lost both of those bids, and it's lucky that I did because it dropped down to about $1,000, most recently sold for $12.99. If I find it for a grand, I would definitely be interested in that. So those are the cards I'm targeting at the National. Check out Ike's Art Studio on Instagram or go to his website. Check out his paintings. Buy a painting, and I will see you all tomorrow for a brand-new release preview of the brand new prism. Good night, everybody.